Well, how do you follow the first semi-final? Well, you follow it with this one. England against Indonesia. This could be interesting as well. For the right to face Mexico for the Seoul 2024 Homeless World Cup title. England have beat the USA in the quarter-final by 6-4. to four. That is their squad, the skipper, Yasser Mohamed. And Indonesia, who were really strong in their group stages. They were a hard team to beat. And they won six times. They went two penalty shootouts. They won one. They lost one. So, final few words of the coaching staff. So they do have two goalkeepers listed, Mohamed Yasser and Mohamed Ramnan. There's the chance beginning for Indonesia. And England to be winning red for most of the tournament. Go to white for this game, Michele Segate, who got a hat trick in the win against South Africa, gets the start for this one. Expect this to be pretty fast, pretty furious, and pretty good. So, underway in the second semi final of the main competition. Indonesia free scoring side played back by Nikahana is Irai Ruyadi Oh and it's in it's a mistake by the goalkeeper and Wale has the opening goal just snuck in there and a rare mistake from Martin Farrelly Indonesia with the opener Again. On the overlap is Stickland. Stickland gathers. Shoots on the leg. Trying to get the shot away. Little deflection. Nice little battle in the corner. Stickland waits for it. Well, the referee didn't like the challenge of Kagua. And you don't want to get a Sinbin in, in this one. Sinbin is a blue card, two minutes off the pitch. Good crowd watching on for this one. You can see the main stand for the university facility on that far side. Uh, where our cameras are, it's fairly busy. Right, we As England go long, Segei tries to battle in. Have to say both these England kits, the red and the white, have looked good. Nice and plate designed. in the blue with the white trim. Corner, Indonesia. Corners are rolled in. And this the shot was low from Mira Iriadi. Just wide, it was well watched by the England goalkeeper. Fikri watches as Algen. Starobi goes in and the shot away again. England try and move it quickly. And all the way through to the opposing goalkeeper. England just haven't quite settled. They were terrific against South Africa yesterday. And then took care of group winners USA. He lost only one game of eight in the group stages. That opens up for England. Here's the chance. Drag back. Great goal. Jonathan Kagwa. Drilled this one home beautifully on the left peg. Goalkeeper, great position, and it was the power that beat him. Oh, 
defended at the post. England may have been inside. In fact, it was Indonesia who stepped in first. Well, such fine margins. And we should give a shout out to all the match officials. Each team of three. As England come out wide again. Kagwa. Kagwa to Stickland. Stickland back on the inside. He has it now. Opportunity rolled in but deflected. He threw for Sigurd that time. England trying to pick up and again just opened up a little bit too wide. Playing better since they've got the goal. Mikhailik Sege again just lifting the right foot shot over. to the, the D and the goalkeeper allowed in there Street Soccer England will be pleased with the progression but what's most important for Street Soccer England and indeed all of the associations involved is the development and the opportunity of the people they're there to help this World Cup fun on the field, especially when you get to this level, the semi-final. But it is life-changing. They've quietened the Indonesian chance. Can they find a way to get ahead? Mohamed Nur. Malassi. Just making sure that one was going right. Indonesia has shown good organisation. On and off the pitch. You have two goalkeepers listed. And the kit's been taken care of with all the numbers, names. All looks good. And certainly the level of coaching, you can tell all of the teams. And when they're well coached in Indonesia too. In different ways to defend the game. From man to man momentarily, then they come back in looking to hunt as a two. England opportunity to try and drag it back off the boards. Good contest, this a little flick off the board. There's the opportunity. And the goalkeeper got the touch. Chasing back, there's four. Great little contest in the corner. Kagwa, he's got a really good left foot. They have to be careful, they don't leave him alone. Yeah, yeah. Good example of it, but there was a free kick. He was being pulled as he got the ball away. And the referee just warning. He settles for the corner. Yeah. Two. And we're looking for the drag back. Well, that first half flew by. An early mistake by the England goalkeeper. Well covered, though. And at half time, it's one apiece. Well, the early goal just pushed across the error from the goalkeeper as he tried to bring it under control. But how about that for a clean, crisp strike low into the corner? Jonathan Kagwa. What a piece. All right to face Mexico in the final.
the second half underway. Indonesia has been in the habit of switch the keeper. England now with Gago Banak on. Scored a great goal against South Africa yesterday. Stickland just a little bit high. Indonesia decided to stay with the same keeper now. Rassi has remained on. Halftime looked like they were planning a chance. A real good chance on that far side. England have to be careful. Douglas Hadsey, dangerous player. Shot again. Break to the other end. And Eli Reardi scores. That's how quickly this can change. Got to be aware of the opposition having a player in your half. So if you're not on target, the ball can move quickly. Change by Indonesia. on the left foot block and there's the chance again trying to little lift good goalkeeping back Sege wide good save Manasia. and then build again trailing by two to one Five minutes to play. Adis Hadzi returns it. Quick shot from Adis Fikri. Indonesia beat Ireland in the quarterfinal 7 1. It's a good Ireland team as well. England building up. Oh, just off the crossbar. Referee gets in the way. Sikland does well, merged to the ball. Back. It's good play from England, they're not trying to overdo it. Looking for the opportunities, that's the second. Drilled in by Stickland. Great hit. Two apiece, all to play for. There's Fikri, chance to get it forward. That's a good strong challenge by England. Referee basically saying play on, nothing wrong with it. And at the back post is again Angus Hadze and England. When they got themselves level, concede fairly quickly just through the legs of Gago Anak. Chance off the angle. Three and a half minutes to play. And England get themselves level. Gago Banak slides it home just from a narrow angle. Goalkeeper thought he'd got the post guarded and didn't do so. So England make another change. Indonesia probably the best three on at the moment. Gago Banak. Brilliant shot into the top corner. And England out ahead. Addis Fikri tries to send it out wide. Well, England have changed the game. We lead by four to three. Well, the goalkeeper being told to get on with it. It's going to have to move. And the defence of Mark Hurley it wasn't the fact that he was trying to waste time. There was just genuinely nothing on.
England with a chance. And England with a goal. Michale Sege scored so many important goals in this tournament. Pops that one home. And it looks like a Mexico England final. Well, this is where the tactics change. England can now just try and contain, try and force Indonesia into shots they don't want to take. Solid defending. And really, Nagasadze able to get on the end of that one. Curling effort. The keeper was beaten if that had been on target. Two goal advantage. That's a great save. Well, the longer England can delay the fourth for Indonesia, the better it is for them. And that's another fine save. The goalkeeper spreading himself well. Minute to play. And back, rolls it back. And there is confirmation that England will be in the final. What an impact he's made. Indonesia thought that was going their way but like most of this second half, not to be England who started shakily looked a little bit behind where they wanted to be fell behind as well and Indonesia this right Having a lead, unable to keep it. The second half performance has been great. England will need all of this tomorrow when they face Mexico in the final. But it's joy for England, disappointment for Indonesia. And Street Soccer England see their side into the final of the Seoul 2024 Homeless World Cup in Korea. Very sporting handshakes all round from England. Got their full of smiles. And as the great Vince Scully once said, as long as you live, keep smiling because it brightens everyone's day. And England have had so much to smile about in this match. This was a really important goal. Just settled England back down. Quick to concede again, England, but I think they realised at that point that they were able to score decent goals, and so it was. Some of these shots from England were simply unstoppable, either high into the corner or low into the corner. That a beautiful thing, Manikele Sege. And England have made their way into the final. They will face Mexico. And England. Great handshakes between both. They will take a bow. They deserve it. Indonesia have had a fine tournament, but it's England who go all the way and will face Mexico in the final of the Seoul 2024 Homeless World Cup tomorrow.